Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm basically going to be showing you my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow collection. I got this idea when I was scrolling on YouTube the other day and my recommended videos popped up. People ranking their Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows so I thought, you know what, that looks like a really fun video to do. By the way, I got this idea from, I believe it was Tara Lynn on YouTube and Maggie A. They were showing their whole collection and kind of ranking them from the ones that they like the most to leave. Now when I'm doing this, I'm basically ranking them from the ones that I don't really use that much because I feel like I love Charlotte Silver eyeshadows actually. They're pretty much all I wear. I have a total of 25 eyeshadows, which is kind of a lot, but let's get started. Oh. Number 25 is to be this guy. This is the Instant Eye Palette from, this is like the first one she's ever released, I think. I think I've only worn this like once. I've like never touched it. It's more on like the cool neutral side and usually I stick to like warm tones when it comes to eyeshadows. I almost never reach for it, but this one is probably like my least used one. The next one I have is this Instant Beauty Glow Palette. I think this one was launched about years ago. I'm not sure exactly when. I don't think I've ever actually really used this palette. I love the convenience of them. I love how they're super easy for travel, but it doesn't really catch my attention. Like I don't look at this and say, I want to use that today. But yeah, I honestly never really use this. I have another Instant Beauty palette. This is the Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. Now, I've reviewed this palette before on my channel, and don't get me wrong, I did love it when it first came out. I really liked it. I was playing with it a lot. The bronzer I really like in here, but again, it's just like one of those palettes that I hardly ever reach for. Like, I find that there's just like a lot of fallout, and I honestly just never reach for it, so this is number 23. Next on my list is gonna be this little guy right here. This is the Glamour Muse. <sighs> this eyeshadow is being discontinued and I just feel like none of these colors match really well together. There was a point in time where I would wear it, but I feel like I would just wear it because I had to wear it. It's not necessarily like a purple eyeshadow palette that I would reach for. Just like the pigmentation on this color, I don't know if this color is like hard to make or something's up with this pop shade. It's just very patchy and dry. It doesn't pick up really well. So yeah, this is number 22. Next on my list is the Rebel Volume 1. I have like a love-hate relationship with this palette. I do like the formula better on this one than the Glamour Muse and I feel like this one is probably getting discontinued as well. I never really reach for it. I hardly ever wake up and think, hey, I want to do great eyeshadow today. This one's beautiful, but I just never really use it. All right, number 20. Next on my list is the Sorry Eyes to Hypnotize. This is the holiday palette that she just came out with this last holiday. I do like this palette. I wouldn't say I love it. I honestly hardly ever used it. I used it a lot when I first got it, but like the colors just don't really call out to me whenever I'm picking eyeshadow. I like how there's a range between like cool and warms, but I feel like Charlotte Tilbury has came out with like a lot of colors that already look like this, so I feel like that's why I don't really gravitate towards this one, but overall the pigment's really good in this palette. I'm not saying I dislike it, I just hardly ever use it. Alright, next on my list is Uptown Girl. This really cool toned sort of palette. I honestly hardly ever use this. I'm not really much of like a cool toned eyeshadow type of person. I just feel like warm tones look better on me. I find they're more flattering and I'm more confident in them. But yeah, these are kind of just like basic cool tones. Clients who are blonde and have blue eyes, I find look really, really good in this palette. I just personally don't like it for myself. Number 18 is gonna be Walk of Shame. And when I wear it, I get a lot of compliments and I actually like the way it looks on, but it's just like one of those palettes that I don't really find myself gravitating towards. It's very like cranberry and I just feel like there's so many other colors that I have that look exactly like this. So I usually just gravitate towards those palettes. It's a really nice palette and it, the pigment is really nice, but I honestly just hardly ever reach for it. The next palette I have on my list is a palette that I hold very true 
and dear to my heart and I still really really love this palette this is the stars in your eyes this one came out I believe last last year two years ago it's just a really beautiful like berry sort of palette I'll give you guys a close-up and these are the tones that I usually like to reach for but she's came out with recent releases that are very similar to this sort of colorway like the new mesmerizing maroon palette i feel like is very very similar to this and i honestly just hardly ever reach for it the next palette i have on my list is the sophisticate i recently did a video with this and i do like this palette but i feel like it, you can get these sort of like basic colors in a lot less expensive palette I'm not really like a matte eyeshadow type of girl. I like a little bit of shimmer. Color selection in this one, it's like very like cool and gray almost. Like I feel like I have a lot of other colors that look like that in different palettes for a lot less expensive. Now with like a new all matte shadow, it's called Desert Beige I believe and that one looks really really interesting. I've actually swatched it before and it's really really nice. It's pretty much like the warm toned version of Sophisticate. That one I really really like. I might actually buy that one. I'm really excited for her new summer collection. So number 15 is the Vintage Vamp. Again, the color selection in this one is a little strange to me. I feel like this first shade is just very very pinky. And I really do love like the pop shade in this one. The gold is super super pretty. I like this palette. I just honestly never really reach towards it. Okay, so next on my list is the Rock Chick. I actually really like this palette. I prefer this one over Uptown Girl when it comes to cool tones. Like if I'm going for a cool tone, like grayish, bluish vibe, I really like to go for this one. I feel like it's really, really beautiful. The only shade I don't really like in this one is like this first one. I just feel like there should be like a light, whiter shade. But other than that, I really like this palette. The pigment is really, really nice. On a night out, when I'm feeling a little bit more edgy, I really do like this palette. The Queen of Glow. Now, I like this palette. I don't love it. I feel like, again, there's very similar colors that I have in my collection that I just gravitate more towards. Also, the formula on this one, I find there's a lot of fallout. You have to be really careful, especially with this deeper shade. It's a beautiful shade, but it falls out a lot. I feel like this is kind of like the warm tone version of the Vintage Vamp. Like, I love the color coordination. The colors all flow really nicely together, but I just don't really use it because I feel like I just don't like the formula to it. Alright, next on my list I have Pillow Talk. This is probably like one of her best sellers. Of course, everyone knows Pillow Talk. It's pretty much the star of Charlotte Tilbury's brand. Honestly, I do use this palette a lot. It's just one of the really popular ones. It's kind of like the staple ones that they really want us to stress and just put it out there but yeah i feel like it just doesn't show up on me the pop shade it doesn't really pick up too well there's just so many colors like this in her like newest releases that i find work better for me and i like the formula better don't get me wrong this is a great palette it's a great coordination of color they all flow really well together it's you really have to build it up to get like it to show up on your skin at least for me who's more of like a medium to tan complexion Next, I have the Icons palette. I honestly truly really love this palette. The color selection in this is really cool, I feel. You get a good range of a lot of her whole eyeshadow collection as a whole. You get like your neutrals, you get your browns, you get your more pinkies, and then you have like a bit more smoky, like blue and black. I really, really love the formula on this eyeshadow palette. And I love how the pigment increases when you wet it or spray it with like a little fix plus. Overall, I really, really like this palette and I would honestly recommend it. I believe it's still on her website. And I do have a few videos of me using this palette that I'll link down below and I swatch it and everything. That way you guys can look more into it. I just don't really want to swatch the whole thing right now because my hand is probably going to get eczema after wiping it down so many times. Next on my list is the Celestial Eyes, the Luxury Palette of Pops. This is the one that she came out with this past holiday. I really, really wanted this palette when it first came out over the Pillow Talk one, and I ended up liking the other one more. It is kind of all 
shimmer shade so it's nice as like a mixer to add on top of what you already have i'm actually wearing the golder shade today again i just hardly ever really use it it is a beautiful palette though the pigment is really really nice the shades are nice and buttery and they glide on really really nice i would definitely recommend it if it's still on her website so next on my list is exaggerize this is honestly such a really pretty like mauve eyeshadow palette it's really really beautiful i feel like it looks really really good on light to medium skin tones if you have a deeper complexion i feel like you can make this palette work i really like this palette when it first came out but i just really hardly ever reach for it but the formula on this is really really nice it's really really beautiful and i love the pop shade on this one it's super creamy and it glides on really nicely but i think the colors i just don't really gravitate towards too much but it is a really beautiful palette Next on my list is Super Blue. I feel like I need to redeem myself with this eyeshadow. When I reviewed it, I was not really liking the way I applied it, but now that I think about it, it was only like my first or second time playing with that eyeshadow, and I feel like I was still getting used to kind of playing around with a more vibrant color, and I played around with it after that, and I feel like I really like the outcome. This blue eyeshadow is just so, so beautiful, and I have brown eyes, so it does bring out the brown in my eyes really, really nicely. These two top shades, you can go more neutral, and then you can add like a pop of blue with this, or use like this kind of as an eyeliner as well. The formula is really nice on this one, and I actually ended up really, really liking this palette. Alright, next on my list is the Rebel Volume 2. This is what I always wanted the rebel to be i feel this is just such a beautiful arrangement of colors it's a beautiful golden khaki green i have a tutorial up with this eyeshadow palette and i really really love how it came out it's just a beautiful arrangement of colors the formula is really creamy pigmented and i just love this one so next i have the bella sophia this is just like an OG when it comes to Charlotte's eyeshadows. I feel like this is one of the most popular ones. This is just a really flattering palette. If you're thinking of gifting a palette to someone, I definitely always recommend this one just because the colors are so universal. They look really good with green eyes, with hazel eyes, with blue eyes, with brown eyes. It's just one of those arrangement of colors that looks really, really flattering on everyone. I mean, not much to say about this one. I've talked about this one a lot before. It's like one of my favorites, hands down. Next, I have the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops. So personally, I like mixing it with other palettes such as like Pillow Talk to give it a little bit more oomph, a little bit more sparkle. But even by itself, it looks really, really nice. It's personally just one of my favorites. Really, really like sparkle, so. Next, I have my Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. This one is just so, so pretty. I love the arrangement of colors. They're nice, stinky warms. I love the choice of mattes that you get in this palette. I just love how there's 12 shades. It's super lightweight, very luxe. Even though I'm allergic to like the pinker shades, I still really, really love these colors. And I just use them with the base. I talked about it in some previous videos if you guys want to check it out. But this is a number four. The Charlotte Darling palette. It's like one of my favorite palettes. I honestly really gravitate towards this one the most. I just feel like these shades are really flattering. I like the warm, sunsetty copper vibe that it has to it. It has an arrangement of mattes and shimmers, and I just feel like the color selection on this one is really, really nice. Number two is the Golden Goddess palette. My number one and this one I feel like are on the same level, but I love this one. As you can tell, this is probably like my most used and abused one. It's just my go-to. I love the shade selection. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. I usually wear it to work all the time, and I just feel like it looks really, really pretty, and it's a really flattering arrangement of color. I feel like it goes with many different skin tones, and I do have a tutorial up with this one that I'll link down below as well. All right, number one. This little dinosaur. <laughs> this is, I mean, this one's not that old. It's Transformize eyeshadow palette this is the one that i'm actually wearing right now it looks kind of basic when you look at it but i feel like if you have medium to deep complexion this palette is super super flattering 
Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments and I feel bad wearing it to work sometimes because it's discontinued. This one launched the same time that Badgerize did during the Victoria's Secret fashion show. I just really, really love this palette. It just looks so, so pretty. It's got the basic shades that I need to complete like a really flattering, seductive eye. There's two mattes and two shimmers and I personally just really, really love this arrangement of colors. But that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.